me you have tried tallow cream. It is the best. I use this whipped tallow cream by Kushi. If you have dry skin, dry hands, dry face, dry patches, you need this. A little goes a long way and you just massage it into your skin. It makes your skin feel so smooth and so soft. This whipped tallow cream from Kushi is from grass-fed beef. It is ethically sourced, which is very important to me. It is all natural. It contains things like vitamins A, K, E, and D. This also has uh, lavender essential oil, so the smell is great. Um, I heard from so many of you the last time I shared this that you loved it. So um, I'm going to put a link here because I do still have a code. Danelle 15 will get you 15% off. Okay, I'm now currently in a panic. You know the tomato situation. We keep seeing this like all over down here and Deb blew off the roof. So we thought maybe it was just dust from the roof. But this is up here too. So obviously... If some... Is something eating it? I am going to be so sour. I don't see any bugs. We don't see Japanese beetles. And why is this day different than any other day? Being sour. <laughs> This is a small project of the day. This is my trimmer that I have. I use it all the time and I go through a lot of stream. I have the original bump and feed and it's not that hard, but it just takes a while. You have to tear it apart and then wind two strings up in here, hold it perfectly, put it back together and it just takes too long. So I ordered Echo Speed Feed 500. You're ready to change, you line the two holes up, you feed it through and you twist it and you're done. I'm going to change it out, test it out, and I'll let you guys know what I think of it. But I think this is gonna be way, way faster. Look this up on YouTube as I do anything that I don't know how to do. Tear this apart, you just push these in. You're supposed to push it with the, through the small hole. My lovely bride is calling me. She made lunch. Push that up. How do I take this off? It just twists and I see nothing on the top, like a nut holding it. This is the part that I had to YouTube. There's a grease hole right here that you're supposed to put grease in. Hole over here. What you have to do is take a screwdriver, push it down in there, it's gonna twist it off. Taking it apart, there's your bump and feed, there's your spool, and then here is the bushing that we want to change out. string in here it's the echo black diamond it's kind of different saying that i can put 40 feet in here or 27 feet of the black diamond a lot of strings so i'm hoping it will last way longer than in this spool we're gonna feed it and see if it's as easy as they say it is line up these holes with the arrows and you're supposed to be able to feed it straight through that, and then we're just gonna divide it in half. And all you have to do, supposedly, is just twist this. And there you go. Now, I can't wait to try it out to see how it works. Enjoy her beauty and her humor. <laughs> you only laugh inside, though, basically. <laughs> <laughs> A June bug with her, with her. Don't you dare! I'm. <laughs> the wiring is done. He just got done today. So you can see the wire sticking out. The next step is next week, the guy who is going to do our front porch. I'm sorry. Our addition, the um, 
sunroom is going to come and fill the holes with concrete and make a pad. And then Deb and I will be setting up the lamp posts in all the locations. The lamp posts that we have had that we were going to use, except we need all the innards, we need the globes, we need like lots of stuff. We found back in November or December on the marketplace, six lamps that are complete for a great price. So we said we wanted them. He said that he will get someone to remove them and then we can take them. I am still trying to get that date set. So I guess what we're going to have to start singing again. In the year 25, 25, if man is still alive, if woman can survive. And I just came out to our beans and here we go. We have Japanese beetles on them. I have had it. Our zucchini is trash now. Our tomatoes are being eaten by big giant worms. And now we have Japanese beetles here. Oh, along with our ferns.